Hey guys, so as you've seen from the title, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial. I decided I was going to do a smoky eye tutorial for you guys today because I haven't done one of those uh, before and I thought it would be fun to show you guys. Um, so yeah, keep watching to find out how I do my makeup. So um, I want to keep my hair on my face so it's not getting in any of my makeup so I'm just using a headband that will comb my hair back with a wet beauty blender so it's nice and puffed up and my Revlon Photoshop Ready Airbrush Effect 1001 Ivory uh, Foundation. I am just going to pump a little bit of that onto my um, uh, beauty blender and then patting that on sections of my face and then um, going down to your neck. Um, next I'm going in with my Wake Me Up Anti-Fatigue Effect from L London in, and it doesn't have a color. Conceal, it's concealer, I know that. Lightest shade they had at the store. Um, and so that's just what that looks like. It's a close up and I'm just going to apply this under my eyes. Um, this time of day, I don't have circles under my eyes, but it does uh, tend to get a little dark. So just kind of applying that like that. And just using my finger or using your beauty blender, you can just pat that in. Now with my Essence um, Mattifying Compact Powder in 04 Perfect Beige, which is my skin tone, I'm going to pat this all over my face with using a Kiyo powder brush. Uh, powder puff or that's what I call them. I don't know what they're actually called or you can um, use a br your a brush, but I find it's easier with the powder puff because it gives more of a um, It gives more coverage Yeah, you don't need this much a lot of the powder so lights it up. I'm taking my nudes palette by Maybelline New York um, Yeah And I'm taking a blending dropping it the blending with my blending brush and using this brown so if you look at the palette it's going to be the one that's on the bottom row of the black with the second one on the opposite side taking that with my uh blending brush and putting it in my crease so just like this um see that it goes up pretty high but it doesn't it's not like too high. I'm going to take this glittery dark brown here, not the almost black dark brown, but the little one, like a little lighter, and taking that and putting it on my lids. Sorry that I'm looking up, that's just where my mirror is. And blending going into your, oh my god, okay, eyes. Uh, going, blending it into your um, inner corner of your eye to use a kind of more of a silver glowy color which is the one right beside the black making sure my brush is clean collecting some of that on the brush and just going right like in this area now using the two colors that we use for our eyes so which is this brown and the glittery brown collecting those both on the brush and going under the eye, where the eyeliner would go. I'm gonna go with a white and our finger because I find it easier for this part with the finger because you're not poking yourself in the eye constantly. I'm going to take a white. The white in the, this palette is just a little bit too um, light for the color that I want and so I'm using um, a Maybelline, another Maybelline uh, palette that has more of a white color and just putting that in my crease, blending it into the brown and then putting it on the bottom. So be careful. So now that your eyes look beautiful, mm, so pretty, um, I'm going to do our eyeliner. Now using my gel liner, don't be mad at me if this isn't perfect because I am not that good with using gel liner. This is the L'Oreal Paris um, does it have a special color? Um, and 171 black is black. Um, yeah. And I'm using a Valoria Paris brush that comes with it. It's just an eyeliner brush. Um, and hope this goes well. So, I'm not very good with this. I don't know how to do it. Okay. So, I'm just going to start and do a wing.
Okay, so I'm just gonna do my wings. With a little bit of eyeliner trouble, I finally got it to be, do what I wished it would do, and I did mess up there, and I tried to fix it, but it's just lying on my face now. Um, now I'm going to teach you how to do the bottom with a uh, gel. So using the gel in the uh, end of the pen, your um, pencil thing, get a little bit of eyeliner on it, and just run it on your lash line it instantly makes your eyes darker and this will honestly stay on for most of the day i learned this tip from prince of vanity which is one of my favorite uh like makeup artists on youtube then you can do the upper part like that also Okay, that hurts. Just blend it out. I rarely ever do my makeup like this, uh, cause just cause I'm kind of bad at it. <laughs> but if I ever do want to, I will do it this way. Just wipe off the back of it on your hand if you want to, because it's the closest thing I can find. Wait, to, to close to me. Um, and I feel like this, like... So now that that is done, we are going to move on to our eyelashes. With my um, Voluminous Butterfly Mascara, I'm going to apply this to my top and lower lashes. Sorry if my lighting is bad, this is just the lighting that I decided to use in most of my tutorials because it's the only way I can get, you can actually see my makeup on camera. It's just my phone light. It's not like professional light. Anyway, so that's what that looks like. Um, looking in the mirror, which is right there, um, and I actually I find it looks really pretty. So yeah, I hope you like it too. But we're not finished yet, so don't think that we're done. Um, I'm going to be applying my false lashes. This is just for this look, just to give my eyes more of a voluminous look. With my Do You Owe, cl is it, um, glue, in my Barbie doll lashes that I used for my Halloween costume, and I still have them, um, I'm going to be putting glue on those. And it's this eye for this one. See, look how like, big they are. They're amazing, and I love them. And then I have my tweezers here to help me put them on. So, okay. It's all okay. Um, so I'm just going to apply the glue onto this and then apply them one on my eye and then I'll teach you how to put the other. So yes, they are very like giant and doll-like eyelashes, but I think it just kind of like adds to the whole effect of your eye. You don't need false lashes, but I just decided that I want to wear them today because I thought it was going to be fun for this tutorial. So now I'm going to teach you how to put on the other one. So using the glue, um, which has hair all over it. <laughs> And making sure your eyelashes are cleaned off. Take your glue and it will squirt out a whole bunch, but all you have to do is try to just like use it and go along its line. Don't worry, I'm not a professional at this. It's actually really badly, poorly put on. Um, and once you put them on, it does give your eyes a little bit of a watery effect. But that will only last a couple seconds. And then you're just going to find where they are. Oopsies, touching my makeup. Finding where they are supposed to go, which you just had to line it up the back. And then line up the front. Just hold it there for it to dry. Okay. 
This one isn't properly on. And then they're on. And now we're gonna go into a bronzer and a blush. So now that we look a little bit scary, I'm sorry if I had regular eyelashes, I would totally not use these to go out in public. I would use regular lashes. Let me put the cap on my glue. But I would use regular lashes. These are just a little bit over the top for what I'm showing you guys. I just don't have any other lashes. If you don't want to wear lashes, it's okay. You don't need to. If you want to, on the other hand, you can. You can totally do that. I just don't have eyelashes that aren't this big, so. I'm going to get regular eyelashes soon when I get enough money out of my bank account. Okay, anyway, so now I'm using my Annabelle Biggie bronzer in shade. Zebra bronzing powder. Okay, shade zebra because I can't find anything else on it. And I'm just going to collect the bronzer on my bookie brush and go on my ch on the sides of my face where you would put your bronzer and then place the bronzer there. Start more at the back and then blend towards the, for the front and it enhances your cheek cheekbones more. Okay, anyways, now we're going on to our blush. I don't have a good blush, so the only one I have is the... Okay, so the only, one, only color I have is the one from the dollar store which is Aziza Two Professional Match Blush Tones. I used to use one as a bronzer until my friend broke it by accident and she never told me she broke it. Problems happen like that. Anyway, so I'm just using the pink shade. Um, if you have like any regular, like actual, like just use any blush you have. Okay, so now we're going on to lips. So I'm just going to do red lipstick to go with the eyeshadow, not with the eyelashes. I look scared. And so that is it for this tutorial. And don't forget to watch my end of video thing. I know like my eyelashes are too big for my face right now. And it looks like I am probably one of those girls that are on the streets. But I swear I'm not. So thanks for watching this video guys. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you didn't like the eyelashes, I'm sorry. Look, my eyelashes are trying to say sorry to you guys. Sorry. Anyway, so yeah. Hope you like the makeup tutorial. If you didn't like the eyelashes, hope you like everything around them, that part of my face. And my hair looks actually really purple in this light. Except for this part that's kind of like brown. But my hair looks really purple and I love it. Anyway, so hope you like this tutorial. If you did not, um, I'll go cry in the corner. <laughs> But uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like this tutorial. Other than the eyelashes, you don't have to wear these eyelashes if you don't want to. I got them from the Halloween store. These are the only fake eyelashes I had, and I really wanted to try this look with fake eyelashes. A little bit more over the top than I was expecting them to look like, because I haven't seen them in a while. But yeah. Um, so give this video a thumbs up, a comment down below, and don't forget on Twitter, I posted... Um, so I posted something saying any questions ha with the hashtag AskChels. So don't forget to go um, give some questions for a Q&A, which I would love to do with you guys. Oh, I feel so like, oh, with those eyelashes. Like. So yeah, um, subscribe if you haven't already. I don't know if I said that. My Instagram, my Twitter, somewhere here is also down in the description. So you can go ask me those questions on Twitter. And yeah, thanks for watching this video and hope you like this tutorial. Because I'm fabulous, that is my simple request. All things fabulous, just get me back. I hurt myself. <laughs>